we are back out at Spring House Gardens, and I love the fact that it's mm, looking like fall. I know. The color it's great. palette's changed, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you just throw a little orange in there, and everything mm -hmm. just changes, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> I know. But this is not the time to just throw our hands up about our gardens. There's lots of options, and these are some of the staples when it comes to fall. These are the traditional plants of fall. You've got mums. You've got you know really really pretty colorful pansies. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's cabbages and kales that you can plant out now that it's cooling down. Uh, but the fall is the best time to do all kinds of planting, mainly getting trees and shrubs uh, installed into the ground. Um, we've had a rough summer here, um, and there's a lot of people that have casualties in their landscape. So this is a great time to plant a new tree, replace some shrubs, because the days are shorter. There's not as much watering that you need to do. Right. It's not quite as hot and the plants can get established before winter sets in. So, uh, and the nurseries and garden centers like ours are getting restocked and we're all rejuvenated now. We feel, Absolutely. you get a few good cool, cool nights mm -hmm. and these clear sunny days and it makes you want to get back outside again, so. And when it comes to mums, it really depends on where you plant these, Richard, and tell me if I'm wrong, as to whether or not they're annuals or Perennials, well, right? um, that's right. The earlier you can get these in the ground where those roots can get established, mm -hmm. the more likely they are to come back in the spring. These are perennial mums, but so many people leave them in their pots on their front porches right. or on their decks, and they don't. They're not going to come back. They're not going to come pot. back if you're sitting them in the pot and they're sitting out all winter. But the earlier you can get them into the ground and get those roots going into the soil, uh, more than likely they will come back. Okay. It, but it does depend on how mild. Um, or how severe the winter is. Um, one of the best tips for getting them to overwinter is not to cut them back until the springtime. Okay. So leave all the old foliage and put some mulch in and around the base and okay. that will help uh, protect them through the winter and then hopefully um, in, this, in the spring when you cut them all back you'll see little bits of green coming up from the base Mine and then your, then your mums will be there. And my mom always told me plant them close to the house. Well, that gives them some protection mm -hmm. and plant them in the full sun and well-drained soil. They don't like sitting in water. And the great thing about these is if you need instant gratification, you've got it right mm -hmm. now. Or yeah. if you're wanting these to really last all the way into October, you know, go with something like this a little bit more. Yeah, with just a tight end bud with a little bit of color just ex um, showing what, what color they're going to be. So. All right, well, I know we're going to be showing them many other ideas for the fall planting coming up. But in the meantime, if people have questions for you, Richard. Uh, best to check out our website at springhousegardens.com. You can check us out on Facebook or give us a call here at the Garden Center at 224-1417.